We who believe in freedom cannot rest. We who believe in freedom cannot rest until it come. Until the killing of black men, black mothers' sons, is as important as the killing of white men, white mothers' sons. That which touches me most is that I had a chance to work with people, passing on to others that which passed on to me. To me, young people come first. They have the courage where we fail. And if I can, but shed some light as they carry us through the gale. The older I get, the better I know that the secret of my going on is when the reins are in the hands of the young who dare to run against the storm. Not needing to clutch for power, not needing the light to just shine on me. I need to be one in the number as we stand against tyranny. Struggling myself don't mean a whole lot. I've come to realize that teaching others to stand up and fight is the only way my struggle survives. I'm a woman who speaks in a voice and I must be heard. I'm a woman who speaks in a voice and I must be heard. I'm a woman who speaks in a voice and I must be heard. I'm a woman who speaks in a voice and I must be heard. I'm a woman who speaks in a voice and I must be heard. I'm a woman who speaks in a voice, and I must be heard. I am a woman who speaks in the voice, and I must be heard. At times it can be difficult. I bow to no man's word. We who believe in freedom cannot rest. We who believe in freedom cannot rest until it comes.